So already, welcome guys to the video. I'm using my little half hatchet to get open this, uh, what's in the box? What, what's in the box? Oh my goodness, there it is. So I'm sure there's probably other people that know more about this axe than me. But I'm still going to fill you in on a little info about this. But if you are loaded with info, feel free to comment. But anyways, what is it? So we got True Tempa Kelly Works, World's Finest, and then this thing on the back. Alright, alright, cut the music. So let's take a look at the style of this particular axe. On the back here, you got, um... An ads or like a garden hoe or the grub inside of the axe and then on this side you got the typical tree cutting regular axe blade we made it this far in the video and I didn't even tell you the name of it but if you've seen the thumbnail this is a Pulaski named after the fella Ed Pulaski who was a firefighter who participated in the 1910 Big Burn in Idaho. So here's another thing I didn't really realize about these. They take pretty much a double bit axe handle. And this one I think is about 40 inches. Which is a pretty long handle. They get down to 36, sometimes shorter. But I, I thought that was pretty cool. And the eye is designed for such. So just taking a nice little look at this thing. I will be fixing it up a little bit. Not going too crazy. A lot of times with vintage axes, I like just keeping them half original. Kind of like this Black Raven. I mainly need to finish this project by doing a handle, and I'm going to call it good at that. But, and then you got this Norlin, the old Hudson Bay pattern. I kept it original by keeping some of the orange tape on the top. They come with factory, and then um, 45 ACP on the, in the wedge there. You just put a nice edge on it and uh, enjoy. Thanks a lot for watching the video and look out for a restoration video soon.